Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please remember to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Today we're gonna talk about the Dyson Airwrap. I finally got one and I'm so excited. This is the limited edition black and purple. You don't see too many of these out there. I wanted to do this video and show you how I mastered my beach waves. I cannot believe the shine and volume you get from this product. It is incredible. If you wanna see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Let's get started. So I am so excited to show you how amazing this Dyson Airwrap is. Oh my goodness, this was a very beautiful early birthday present and I just can't stop using it. So I didn't wanna do another video because there are a ton of videos out there on YouTube on first impressions and all that. I wanted to actually play with the Dyson Airwrap, really get to know it and then show you what I've learned and what works and what doesn't work. So I am so excited. Everything I'm noticing on YouTube is the silver and pink one, and I have the limited edition black and purple one. This is gorgeous. I just did the review on the Dyson Supersonic versus the Ferrari. You can check out that video. Dyson won by a landslide. I absolutely love my blow dryer. It is the best blow dryer I have ever used. But this little guy almost can replace it. This is an all-in-one styler. This is gonna be your best friend when you are traveling and when you really just want one tool that will literally do it all. I have been using this, especially without my extensions, and my hair just goes by quick. Even a quick blow dry with this is amazing. And there are so many different attachments. I would recommend, because it's not that much more, I'll show all the pricing right there, I would recommend getting the whole kit because you really are gonna be able to utilize this tool and really max out your money by getting the entire kit versus just buying you know, just certain attachments that go with the main base. I'm gonna show you the pink and silver one as well. They cost exactly the same. Like the Dyson Supersonic, this has the motor in the handle, which is really nice. And I love this kind of filter where you can just literally release it and clean it. Oh, this thing is so lightweight. The cord is so thick and nice where you don't have to really worry about it getting all tangled up, which I like. It is nice and sturdy. What I like about Dyson is it reminds me a lot of Apple products. The way they just present it, the way they send it to you is just, unbelievably beautiful. The packaging from just the box that they send it in, the actual like box that came around this case, everything is just packaged individually and really nice. So when you go on the website, you can actually choose from three different models. You can do the Dyson Airwrap Styler, the volume and shape, which comes in just the nickel and fuchsia, the pink one, or you can do the Dyson Airwrap Styler Complete, and that's the one I was referring to and the one we got, and you can do that one in the standard uh, silver and fuchsia color, or you can do the black and purple, and that comes with all the attachments. Or the third choice is the Dyson Airwrap Styler Smooth and Control. So each attachments I can attest to 
work incredible and is just learning how to use them. And I think there's a huge learning curve when it comes to this product, especially when it comes to curling it. I actually think like standard pageant type curls are extremely easy, like that ringlet curl. But when it comes to the beach wave, it's a little more tricky, but it's doable and it looks impeccable. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. I will show you how I learned how to do it, how I taught myself. I saw how other people were doing it. It was kind of like something I was already thinking in my head that would be the only way to do it. But then I found an even easier way. So hopefully this is going to help you guys. The pros are that this product works in such a way that is so unique to the market. Yes, it is a hefty price point, and that is a huge con. That's the number one con. I wish it was cheaper, and I wish I can tell you it's not worth it, but you're gonna see that it's completely worth it. <laughs> so let's go with the box. Okay, this is absolutely stunning. I mean, the way they present this, you get what you pay for, and I think that is huge. The con to this is because this is such a great tool to travel with, it's not very convenient as far as packaging goes when it comes to like wanting to travel with it. So I wish that Dyson would have done something a little bit like this is beautiful to present it in, but I wish they would like either sell a separate travel friendly size casing because you don't want to just stick this in your suitcase. This is $550. There's no way I'm just going to stick that in my suitcase and I don't want to lose any of the attachments as well. So that is kind of the downfall because this thing is a little heavy. The pink one comes in like an Hermes type color, luggage brown color, which is absolutely beautiful as well. I don't know how it makes sense though because it's like a silver and fuchsia color or nickel and fuchsia color tool and it comes like in a brown case. So it, <laughs> for me, it like color wise, I'm just like, ah, it's just distracting my eye. I can't handle it. It doesn't match. I need things to match. So that's why I really love the limited edition one because it comes in a black case. I mean, it goes with the product. And the beautiful part is, I don't know if you can even tell on camera, but the stitching is purple and it comes with a beautiful black heat mat. This is the kind of slight downfall we notice between opening up the two packages. So this is the limited edition one and you can see right here all of my attachments are kind of just like rolling around. When we opened up the other, the nickel and fuchsia one with the brown case, it actually had like little compartments in the complete set. So I thought that was nice because this is gonna really roll around in my suitcase. I love that it comes with this like uh, type of round brush that we would normally do. The beauty of this is when you blow dry your hair, you don't have to have a brush and a blow dryer which is really nice. And that one does kind of have like a compartment section for it, which is nice. And I like these little nipple, <laughs> looks like a nipple. I like these little nipples because you can actually like pull it off and it doesn't get hot. So when you're releasing the attachment, it's not magnetic. It's not like the supersonic where I, I kind of wish it was. I thought that'd been kind of cool, but that's okay. I, I know it's asking a little too much, but <laughs> I think that this makes it a lot easier to pull it off and it doesn't get hot, which is really, really convenient, especially these curling iron type ones. Uh, there is two different sizes. I'll put the sizes right there. I can't remember offhand, but this is the smaller one. And then this is the larger one. I think if you have really long hair, like when I have my extensions in, I'll use the thicker one. So then we have the like blow dryer type attachment. So you can, I mean, if you have a ton of hair, it's going to take a long time. So you definitely want to still use your supersonic if, or any kind of blow dryer, if you have really long, thick hair. When I have my extensions out, my hair doesn't take as long to blow dry. I literally used this the other day to just like kind of like air dry it, just really kind of get it, get all that major moisture out. And then I went in with the soft smoothing brush. This one creates a smooth blow dry finish with soft ball tip bristles engineered to be gentle on the scalp. So this is going to give you a very soft smoothing effect. I like this one, but I actually like the one that I have attached on it right now a little bit more from my hair type. And this one creates a straighter style with less frizz and fewer flyaways with firm bristles in engineered to control frizz prone hair. And that's why I like this one because I have very frizzy, dry, damaged hair. And this one just gives me that 
tension that I need to really like soften it and smooth it. I have been using this one non-stop. If my hair was like in more control, I'd probably use this one a little bit more, but right now I have some extremely frustrating flyaways and breakage areas in my front area that if I go in with a round brush, it's just gonna be a mess. But I do like going on the back end with that one, just really creating the volume on top. Let me go over these barrels really quick. So the smaller one is a 1.2 inch air wrap barrel with clockwise and counterclockwise barrels for symmetrical curls. So they do, I forgot to mention that, so that's why I wanted to go back to this. They have the arrows to actually help guide you. So if you want a curl that goes in, you'll use arrows that go in. If you want a curl that goes out, you'll use the arrows to go out. The downfall to this styler, okay, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a con, is that I just don't like that I have to keep switching it out. It's kind of annoying. So like on this side, I have to use this one, then I have to switch it out and use it this one. But it's, but that's the con, but the pro is I have never seen a curl like this. And what I mean by that is I have never seen my curl not smell like the curling iron, which by the way, I tried the T3 one, did not like it, had to return it. I love my T3 flat iron, but the curling iron literally burnt my hair. The beauty of this is you're not gonna burn anything. Is it hot? Yes, it gets extremely hot, but not to the point where you would literally burn yourself. So I don't recommend holding on to it, but at least you can have the confidence knowing that you're not gonna burn yourself. It's pretty safe. And it does get very warm. Is it gonna give you the kind of curls that a curling iron, like a hot tools would, no. It's gonna give you more loose, beautiful beach wave type curls, or it's gonna give you soft, beautiful, loose ringlet type curls. But the difference is when you use a curling iron, I don't feel like you retain that shine and moisture. When you use the Dyson Airwrap, you completely retain that shine and moisture. So huge difference. I am obsessed with the way this curls my hair. All right, I talked enough. So I'm just gonna show you guys, these are how you release the attachments are right there. So you would just hold it and pop it off. It's really easy, snap it back on. It's super simple. Again, filter right there. And then this is the on off switch. You just hold it like that. And then you control the heat right here and you control the the amount of pressure right there. So one, two, three, three speeds and three heat settings. And then this is the cool shot, you just hold it. The cool shot is going to be your best friend when it comes to curls because you definitely, it's like, think of it like when you use uh, hot rollers, right? The whole point of hot rollers is you put them in when they're really hot and then you take them out when they're cold, right? When they're nice and cool. That's the same concept. So when you're using a f curling iron, you can't do that. You literally just have to hold it, hold it, hold the, I mean, the best thing to do is hold the curl after you release the curling iron, hold it till it gets cool and then release it because that's what my mom taught me. But that's annoying. Who does that? I don't do it. I really don't do it, to be honest with you. I see some people do it, but I, my mom does it. She just got used to it after doing hair for 50 years. So for her, you know, it just was natural to do that. But for the most part, when I curl my hair, I don't sit there and hold it until it gets cool. This thing, you can literally curl it, do the cool shot, boom, the curl's set in. All right, now we're gonna take this part up real quick. And I want to show you, see all this broken area, you guys? Oh, it's so annoying. I have like bangs now. I basically have bangs now. Unwanted bangs. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you what I would do on, what I like about the round brush on top is actually taking this crown section. So I'm gonna take just that section right there and I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to pull that, create some tension, grab the nipple, hold it. Now I'm gonna cool shot it, get it nice and cool. And then release it. You see how that kind of just created a nice 
voluminous effect. Look at that, you guys. I gave it that perfect little oomph right there. Here, I'm gonna take this section and show you guys how to do it on this side now. I have some new layers where I'm working with now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn it on, smooth it from the root, then pull it, bring it down, kinda hold it there for a second. Now I'm gonna cool shot it. And it gets really warm, but it's not uncomfortably hot. All right, and then we're gonna just kind of pull it out and see how that created that nice voluminous effect. And the beauty of this is I don't feel like I'm damaging my hair like constantly bad. So I'm gonna pull that off. See how easy that was? The nipple is not hot at all. This nipple stays cold, which is good because when you're pulling it off, it would be really hot to grab that bristle. All right, now let's do the curl. So I'm gonna use the 1.2 inch one. I'm gonna pop that on. Really easy to attach those. What I like about this, okay, is the fact that a, it's beautiful, <laughs> but what I like is that there's no, like, there's a little bit of like a groove, but there's nothing that's going to catch and pull your hair, which a lot of these tools that are kind of similar to this, that don't have that heat technology, first off, but also just have the ability to pull out your hair, where this will not, nothing's going to suck in. It's just literally just one smooth barrel with just a little bit of indention. But I love that it shows you the arrows. So if you're one of those people that like, like, uh, you know, the dimension and you like to go one back, one forward, one back, one forward, that can be kind of a headache because you're gonna have to keep switching the barrels back and forth for every little section. So for me, I just like them all back, so I don't really care. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me. Or what I would do in that case is just take the sections that I want to go back and just skip every other and then switch out the barrel and then kind of go into those groups. So you can make your life easier. It's just finding a, a technique that works for you. So I'm gonna show you like the ringlet curl and then I'm gonna show you and how easy it is because it literally sucks it in and does it for you. And then I'm gonna show you how to create a beach wave doing almost the same thing, it's just you're holding out your ends, okay? So let's take uh, this section right here. I have, when I did this the other day it was before I got my hair cut, so I have to kind of play around with it and see what I'm looking in the monitor, you guys, that's why. I am looking to the left. Okay, so I'm gonna take this section right here. I'm actually going to spray it with my um, AG Firewall. You guys know I love this stuff. I'm gonna spray that, okay? I always do that even though, because it is still heat going on your hair, and I still wanna protect my hair as much as I can, <laughs> what I have left of it. Okay, so you're gonna take that section, and then you're just gonna let it catch and let it go in, and that will cause the ringlet effect. Hold it there, and then cool shot it, and then let it release. And look at that. You have a perfect ringlet. How amazing is that? How easy was that too? And what you could do is you could literally take like that and just kind of play with it and just like kind of stretch it down a little bit to kind of straighten out that end. Or on the next curl, I'm just gonna show you how to do it with a beach wave. So you would take that section. Now, the trick to this Dyson air wrap is you don't want to take big sections. And I think that's where a lot of people went wrong. Actually, let me section this off. Let me make this a little bit easier. I think a lot of people were taking big sections and you can't, you have to go small. And I know that could be annoying because you want to go fast, but if you really want to get the full effect of it and make your life easy, go small. All right, so I'm going to do the beach wave now. Turn that on. So what it would do is now I'm going to take, oops. Okay, before it catches, I'm going to pull that strand and leave it out. Okay, cool shot it. and then release it. And there you go. 
So you just have to make sure, I was, it was hard because I'm trying to look in the monitor and I don't have my mirror, but that's how you would leave the ends out to really like create that beach wave. All right, let's do it again. Let it catch it. Now take that end, fold it out, okay? Leave it in there. You can get it closer to the root too if you want the curl to be up higher. Hold it, get that cool shot in. Let it start getting cool and then release it like that. See, and that created that perfect beach wave. Look at that, you guys. Now, if you don't cool shot it, you will have a chance of that curl not holding. That's why I say it is so important, and they even say it on their website, to make sure that you use the cool shot. It's very, 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 very important. I like my ends to especially be more um, loose and not so like pageant-y, which I am not mad at because I'm a pageant girl. <laughs> All right, let it catch, let it pull, then grab the end. Ow. I rather wrap that one because I grabbed the wrong piece. Get the pull button, and then release it up. And look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love this thing. It's so incredible. So I did it better the other day because it was just easier in my bathroom. Okay. It's gonna grab whatever hair you have and then let it go. And I didn't even cool shot that one, but look at, so perfect. Okay, now let me show you if I didn't switch the barrel, how that would work. So let me take a section back here because I don't want that front part to go forward. So because I didn't switch the barrel, the curl's gonna go forward now, watch this. See how it goes forward? See how that just is really, really simple? I'm gonna show you just a ringlet curl back there. Cool shot it, and then release it. Do you see how kinky that could look though? Oh my goodness, that curl. But you really could just pull the end out too if it makes it hard for you to hold that end out. You can always do that. You can always take a flat iron and just really flatten out that part too. So that's another way to do it. But did you see how easy it was to go to just, when you really get that section in, let's do it again, that was fun. So there you go. See how it just kind of catches the curl? I'm cool shotting it. <laughs> Do you see that curl? That is so old school curl right there, right? Just old school. That's why I didn't want to do the front area. But if I didn't switch the barrel, that curl's gonna pull forward. So let's switch the barrel now. So this is kind of the annoying part of it, right? But it's not, it's not like, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, come on, the attachments are so easy to pull on and off. See how that was on? I could still go like this. I mean, I don't recommend doing that, but it's not gonna burn your hand at all, which is just so good, especially for like teenagers and stuff like that. If you're worried about your kids using this, you don't have to worry about that. All right, let's do the curl going away now. See how easy that was? Now, I didn't grab the end fast enough, but you can. I kind of have the tip of it. And you can go close to the root if you want. Put that cool shot on. So that gives a nice, beautiful, loose wave that way. And then I'm gonna take, I should have actually, let me pull that one back up there because I'm getting too big of strands if I do it that way. All right, let's take this. I typically like thicker sections because when you have medium length hair, if you take too big of a section, too small of a section, it doesn't look as good. Let it catch. That's the biggest thing right there. And then grab that end. You can pull it as, you can pull it so close to the root because it's not, it doesn't get insanely hot. It gets hot, don't get me wrong, it gets hot. Cool shot it and then release. But do you guys see how that curl looks so healthy and shiny? And I have the type of hair that is really dry and 
coarse and brittle right now. So for that to look shiny, if I used a regular curling iron, whether it was ceramic plated or just like a hot tools curling iron, that's gonna give you the beautiful curl. That would look dry, damaged. I would have to put a lot of oil and do all that. I don't have to do that with this. I mean, I didn't even use, I forgot to go in with my spray, but I have so much of that in my hair right now, I'm not really concerned. But yeah, look at that. Look at how healthy that looks. And I still get that nice, loose wave. Yet, I can create, like I showed you, a tight ringlet curl too. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna turn around here and show you. Let it catch. So that one I'm not gonna, because it's a little hard to do it right now showing you guys. I'm not gonna catch the end. Hold it, the cool shot, and then release it. See? I don't like my curls to be too tight, so this is a perfect wave for me. And when I wore my hair like this the other day, it literally lasted all day. So if anyone tells you, oh, it doesn't last with the Dyson wrap, that's not true. It, it does last. I will say that Everyone's hair texture is different. So if you have really fine hair, yes, you may have a little bit harder time keeping the curl, but I mean, it just really depends. And I think once you master it, it you're not gonna have that hard of a time. Watch out though, because it will grab the other hair. So just be mindful of that. It's gonna grab whatever hair is around that area. So you kind of have to Hold your other hair. Cool shot it. And then release it. See that? Oh my goodness, you guys. That is insanely good. And I like it to be kind of PC on the end. I don't want too like tight of curls there. So for me, that works out perfect. You can just keep playing with it and just go to your desired curl. But for me, I just, with my hair this length, I definitely want it to be a lot looser and just more like tousled versus set and curled. Okay, so I'm going to take this side since I already have that barrel on and we're gonna do it again. So it's just learning what works and what doesn't work. But I have some new layers going on here and I think that's the problem I'm having. I wouldn't say a problem because I still feel like it's doing a good job. It's just that I can't get the beach wave end out as good this time because it's grabbing my other unwanted layers. <laughs> but still, look at how beautiful that is. Even if I left, if I didn't leave the ends out, look at how that still just gives that nice bounce and volume that I like. So I like a lot of volume in my hair. Let's do, let's grab this clip right here. Let's grab that up there and let's take this little section right here. Let's see if it will take that big of a section. See how it's kind of have, oh, it, it grabbed it, but it, it was having a little bit harder of a time because I grabbed, I took a bigger, I took a thicker section. And again, you can go really close to the root if you want, because it's not gonna burn you. And then cool shot it. And then release it. Look at that, how pretty that is. So it did take that big section right there, which is good. Okay, now I'm gonna take this one down and do this guy. So this guy's a little bit smaller. Let it grab. I'm gonna take it to the scalp. Hold it, cool shot it, release it. And now while it's still hot, I'm gonna kind of pull it down a little like that. And that's how you can kind of create that beach wave effect too. That might even be a little bit easier for you. 
So I'm finding that to be actually even easier. See, I'm learning as I go, even doing it. And I think it's one of these things where you just gotta keep practicing. And once you practice and practice and practice, you're gonna get it down to a science of your own because everyone's different. See how that's a bigger section, so it's having a hard time grabbing it. Okay, it grabbed it eventually. I'm gonna take it to the scalp. Let it sit there. Cool shot it. Release it. Look at that, you guys. How pretty is that? And do you see how just healthy my curls look? It's just so voluminous and so healthy looking. Oh, I'm obsessed with this device. It is so good. All right, now we're gonna go. And this is not a sponsored video, okay? I didn't, we paid for this, it was a gift. It was not sponsored, okay? Just so you guys know, I this is something we bought and it's good. All right, here we go. Hold it, hold it. Full shot it. And then release it. And then while it's still kind of warm, I'm gonna just pull on it. Just kind of yank on it. I'm gonna yank on it while it's still hot, baby. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Grab it. Hold it. Full shot it. Really sick. Look at that. <laughs> so exciting. All right. I literally can play with this thing all day long. <laughs> Shot it. But look at how beautiful that curl is, you guys. So I, it was hard for me to even see in the back what I was really doing because I don't have a mirror. But look at how healthy my hair looks. It's insane. Again, if I would have done this with a curling iron, it would have been dry looking and just, I would have had to keep adding layers of products on my hair and just weighing it down more and making it so that it doesn't last all day or it just feels greasy. So that's what I love about this Dyson Airwrap is that it gives me the curl I like, yet it keeps my hair very healthy and shiny and just bouncy looking, voluminous, and I like the voluminous look. I don't want the curled, you know, hot tools curled look. I want more of a tousled beach wave look that my hair still looks healthy and shiny. And I literally am only using this product. I'm not even using extra products to make it more voluminous. And I'm only using my firewall to just heat protect it. And that's it. I don't use anything else and look at how much volume I have. That is incredible. Most people have to put a ton of products in their hair to really just make it, those curls look voluminous and healthy and you don't have to do that with this product. That is a huge pro. All right, let's get to the top section. One thing to keep in mind, obviously whenever you curl your hair, if you want volume, you want to get it as close to the scalp, the curl as possible. Okay. So if you just did curl down here and you didn't go all the way up to the scalp, you're not going to get that voluminous effect. You're just, your curls are just going to weigh down and it's just going to go droop down like that. So just keep that in mind as you use this device. All right. I'm going to section this off cause I have some crazy layers going on there and it's going to grab all of that if I don't. And then you're just going to wrap it, hold it, let it cool, and then release things. Oh my goodness, look at how flippin' amazing that is. Woo! That is like the perfect, especially in the front area, when we want that nice, beautiful, and like kind of I don't know. I don't I don't even know what that's called, but it's just like it creates like it just frames your face and just creates that perfect 
outside curl that just is oh that's so good you guys wow this thing is insanely good okay i'm gonna clip this back because again it's gonna catch that if i don't so i'm gonna just kind of take a clippy clip that back do you guys like my gold clips aren't they so cute so these clips if you bought them like at ulta or somewhere you know the, like a beauty store they cost a lot of money but I found them at Marshall's for $3.99 and then you get like four of them in a pack which is the same quality as the Ulta ones so go to Marshall's TJ Maxx one of those stores and my goodness those are good okay and then you put the air wrap roll it look at that look at how it catches that is so cool hold it hold it cool shot it and then release it now my hair does hold curl pretty well so I'm not gonna lie it does but if your hair doesn't hold curl very well and you have pretty you know good quality hair and you don't have bleached over processed hair I would leave it on the heat just a little bit longer it's just my hair is so damaged right now I don't want to take any chances so I'm not holding it the heat as long as you know you could which would create a tighter curl maybe a longer lasting curl too but my hair holds such good curl i don't even have to do that so i'm gonna go back on let it let it catch the hair then pull it in close to the scalp hit that cool shot and then release it there you go look at that Perfect. All right, I'm gonna go faster now because this is gonna bore you now. So I'm just gonna fast forward through all this, but you guys kind of get the point now. volume I have right now that is insane I would never get this volume from a curling iron I can tell you that much not like this kind of volume it's almost like a blowout volume like when you go and pay and get a nice blowout like the blowout bars it's like getting that but with beach waves I'm not even teasing my hair typically when you do beach waves if you really want that voluminous effect of course you got to get that texture spray going on some type of thickening cream in there you got to tease it and then you got to curl it and then you got to do some more product and for someone like me who's like really like OCD and wants to wash her hair every day I want to be able to enjoy it and I can't by the second day it's just driving me nuts because I have too much stuff going on in my hair and I just feel like yuck look at that oh my goodness do you see that Victoria's Secret volume all right so there you go that's the final look of it when you beach wave it you guys I know it looked like it took a long time, but a lot of it was because I was talking. And what I wanna point out is, I actually wore my hair very flat ironed earlier today, and I have been the last couple days. So usually, typically, if I went in with a regular curling iron and even a Hot Tools curling iron, I wouldn't even be able to really keep a curl because once you flat iron your hair and you try to go in and curl it it's usually no bueno it's not good but this I'm still getting a ton of volume now when I did it the other day and I just used the pre styler and just went in with curls it was a lot easier and it went a lot faster so I think that makes a huge difference so I'm gonna point that out. But I wanna point out to you that you can wear it flat and still get pretty good volume and pretty good curl. So if you went in and just sprayed a little bit texture spray in there, I kind of ran out of my bumble and bumble. And if I would have actually done that, that process would have been like that. 
What I do notice is that the more I play with it, the more I'm learning. So I don't know if you guys noticed towards the end when I was doing this side, it was actually picking up some pretty big sections. So the trick to that is hold it there and let it grab that hair. And I couldn't really tell when I was looking in the monitor. It wasn't until I, when I was looking in the mirror, it made my life a lot easier. So for me, filming this video is making it a little bit more difficult too. As far as time wise, I would go by faster if I just had a mirror right here and I was able to just grab but what I noticed when I said earlier you really have to do the small sections and let that curl you know be smaller you don't have to actually you can actually just sit there and let that Dyson just grab the hair and it's grab it's grabbing a thicker section so I don't know if you noticed that I went one two three on that so that's typically the way I like it I don't want to do so many small little sections because then that's when it starts to look more pageanty and old school curl but this is exactly what I would want I would want this type of wave for this length of hair now if my hair was longer I don't mind more the time tighter curls because those loosen up and give a nice beautiful beach wave when it's longer when I have my extensions in. I do want to try this when I have my extensions in because I'm curious to how it's going to curl that hair. So I will do another video when I put my extensions back in and just kind of play around with it even more. But I wanted to do initial one. I do find that if I'm looking in the mirror and able to do it, I can kind of catch the ends and not make it so that it you know, curls up, but actually I don't think it looks bad this way. And I still was able to do that kind of on the end. And the trick is to, once you pull it out, really again, pull on that curl. And you would t typically do that with a regular curling iron anyway. So it's nothing that you're doing differently, but you're getting such incredible shine. You're getting this beautiful, bouncy, voluminous hair and not damaging it, not further damaging it. So yes, I know. I know you guys are probably gonna come for me in the comments saying this is really expensive and not everyone can afford it. I get it, it's expensive. And I personally probably wouldn't have been able to afford it either. This was a gift to me. But I truly, if it was something I had to purchase on my own, I would look into like QVC and doing payment plans or putting it on a credit card because I find that if I'm gonna spend a lot of money on my hair, like coloring it and cutting it, I'm gonna invest in good tools that are gonna last me forever. So think about it this way, you really don't even need a blow dryer because you can pre-style it with this and then you have all your attachments. You don't need to buy, invest in brushes because unless you, I mean, get a wet brush for when you get out of the shower. But as far as like round brushes, vent brushes, all these brushes we use to smooth out our hair, you don't need any of that. You literally are just, it's an all-in-one styler. So this is why it's, the most awarded beauty tool of 2019 for Allure magazine. People are liking it, people are using it. And yes, it has a strong learning curve to it. You have to literally sit there and practice, practice, practice. Watch this video over and over again and really just see how I utilized the tool and created that perfect, beautiful, bouncy beach wave on my length hair okay so that's pretty good and i think this is pretty standard length hair to what most people have i hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment below if you do get one and if you like it or if you already have one let me know what you think if you have any more tips and tricks leave it in the comments below so that other people can see it because let me tell you everyone is going to be able to discover new things with this tool and we can all learn from each other which i think is wonderful thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram and I'll see you on the next. Thanks guys. Bye. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby.